and of uh, the previous three differentiating using the what we call the first uh, principle. So now we are going to differentiate using the rules. When you are differentiated using the rules, there's, there are some different ways of differentiating using the rules. Uh, if you have a x exponent n like that, remember that n is an integral number. So you've got a x exponent n. So if you are to differentiate this, and let's write this as a function, it's y cos, right? So if you are to differentiate this, you need to put that sign to show that you are now talking about the gradient. This is the sign that we are using. And then from that, you're going to take that exponent and multiply it to that uh, coefficient, which is a. So this will be n times a x exponent n, that n. Again, from that exponent, we subtract 1. That would be a gradient of a tangent. That would be a gradient of a tangent. You multiply by n, and also you subtract 1 from that exponent. Right. Let's say, for instance, you have this. Y equals a x exponent n plus x exponent n, like that. You do the same. You put that sign that indicates a gradient. It's n a x exponent n minus 1 plus, again, it's n times that coefficient, which is 1, it will be n x, you subtract 1 again out there. You multiply the coefficient, and then do not forget to subtract 1. Right. Let's see what will happen if we've got this. Uh, it's a over x exponent n, right? Since x is a denominator, because when you are deriving, you derive with respect of that, with respect of x, so you cannot start deriving if x is a denominator. So if x is a denominator like that, you write your function again, it's here at x equals a times so when you are to make this to be a numerator, the exponent has to change. It will be minus n. So since x is no longer a denominator, you can now start deriving. Once you start deriving, you put that sign to indicate that this is now a gradient. It's negative n times a, which will be negative n a x exponent minus n. Remember that you need to subtract 1 again. You always subtract 1 from that uh, exponent. Right? The important things that you need to understand if you are deriving. Number one, you do not start differentiating or deriving if x is a denominator. Number two, you might find out that x is an LCD, you will have to split the term. I will show when uh, doing some examples there how to do that. You will have to split the terms if x is an LCD. Sometimes you might find out that uh, you've got something like this. x squared minus x minus 6 divided by x minus 3. So, 
In that case, again, you can't differentiate them. You can't start deriving. X is a denominator. And remember that it's X minus 2 now. It's no longer X. It's X minus 2. So you go back from what we were doing during uh, the topic that we done. It was uh, the limits. You will have to factorize the numerator here first. It's f and x equals x plus 2 into x minus 3, all over x minus 3. So now you are having, this will divide that, now you are having x plus 2. You can then now start deriving. You do not start deriving if x is a denominator, and again, you have to factorize the numerator. Again, the other thing, there are some notations that we use when we are deriving. You derive with respect of x. So, for instance, let's say you have a y is equal to x squared like that, you are to differentiate this. You put to that side, it's two times the coefficient, which is one, that would be two. X, and then again, you subtract one there. So that would be two X, if you subtract one up there. That would be the gradient of a uh, tangent. Right, we've got this. This symbol indicates the gradient. It indicates the gradient. Also, if you have this like that, it indicates the gradient. Again, dy over dx. This still indicates the gradient. This is the gradient. It is the same as when you say change in y over change in x. But then again, you might find this. Right, in a situation like this, and let's say you are being asked to differentiate here. For you to differentiate, you won't use that sign. For instance, when you start deriving here, you just put an equal sign without that dx, and then you will say 2 times a, which is 2ax, and then you subtract 1 there, it will be 2ax plus 1 times b, it's b. You subtract one of them. It's x exponent one minus one, which is x exponent zero. Any number to power zero, it's one. One times b, it will be b. That's how your answer will be looking like. Again, if you have g over dx, a x squared plus dx. This is not dy over dx, it's d over dx. Again, you just put the equal sign. It's 2ax plus b. It's 2ax plus b. You simply put that equal sign without the brackets. Right, let's do some examples so that we are going to see on how to apply all these things. Make sure that whenever you are deriving, x is not a denominator. Uh, Gx equals 2 over 3x squared. 
we are saying x mustn't be a denominator. x must not be a denominator. So in this case, gn x will be equal to 2 over 3 times 1 over x squared. This is the same as that. It's 2 times 1, which is 2. 3 times x squared, which is 3x squared. So, x mustn't be a denominator, so we are going to have 2 over 3 times. We change this. Once you change this, the exponent will change to be a uh, negative. So it will be x exponent minus 2. And then you can now start deriving because x is no longer a denominator. So when you are starting to derive, you put that sign. It's negative 2 times 2 over 3. That would be minus 4 over 3. And then you subtract 1. Minus 2 minus 1, it's x exponent minus 3. That's your answer. But then for you to write it back with a positive exponent, this would be gx equals negative 4 over 3 times 1 over x cubed, which is negative 4 over 3 times that. It's a 3 x cube. That's how to put it back to have a positive exponent. And again, you might find out that uh, x is under the square root. x is under the square root. Square root of x. Not actually the square root of sign. If x is under any root sign, you do not start deriving. You change the root sign and write it in exponential form. Change the root sign and write it in exponential form. So this would be x exponent 1 over 2. So now there is no longer a root sign here. You can now start deriving. This would be 1 over 2 x, you subtract 1 up there, it's 1 over 2 minus 1. So this would be minus 1 over 2. So if you are to write this with positive exponent, you do the same again. It's 1 over 2 times 1 over x exponent 1 over 2, which is the same as 1 over 2x exponent 1 over 2. So x exponent 1 over 2 is the same as that. So the final answer here can be 1 over 2 root x. That would be the final answer. If there is any root sign, you change it and write it in exponential form. Let's say, for instance, you have y equals 3 over cube root of x like that and you are being asked to find dy over dx right in a situation like this again x is a denominator and again there is a root sign so you need to first change the root sign and write it in exponential form this is still y it's not a gradient it's y equals 3 over and then you change that root sign it's x exponent 1 over 3 it's 1 over 3 that uh, cube root so now you are to move x to be a numerator, it will be y equals 3 times 
x so if you are to move this up there it will change the sign it's one over three so now you can now start uh, deriving if x is no longer a denominator once you start deriving since you are being asked uh, to find dy over dx you are going to say dy over dx let's look let's compare the two it's d over dx you put the equal sign but here you are being asked to find dy over dx so once you start deriving you put dy over dx negative 1 over 3 times that it's negative 1 over 3 times 3 so this will divide that you are left with negative 1 so this will be minus x you subtract to 1 there so it's minus 1 over 3 minus 1 so this will be minus 1 minus 3 like that it's 3 divided by 3 which is 1 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 3 divided by 1 is 3 3 times 1 it's 3 like that and then minus 1 minus 3 which is minus 4 so we are going to have minus 4 over 3 that's the gradient of that so if you are to write it again with positive exponent it's simple this will be minus 1 over and then so you will write this with a positive exponent it will be 4 over 3 like that so it's one negative 1 over that you change that and write it with a positive exponent right let's go to examples write the first example y equals equals 5 minus x 5 minus x, x. the question find the derivative so if you are to find the derivative here y is not a denominator so you can just start uh, deriving here it's y equals we derive with respect of y. Let's put the sign of the gradient. We derive with respect of x. We derive y with respect of x. So whatever it is that that doesn't have x, you just ignore that because you don't have to derive it. It's one times negative one, which is negative one. Remember, there is one there. It's x exponent 1 minus 1. So this will be x exponent 0, which is 1. Therefore, our answer here will be negative 1. That would be our gradient. Let's say you have this y equals 4. And the question is asking you to differentiate this. The gradient here will be equal to 0 because we derive with respect of x there is no x there therefore the gradient is equal to 0 next find the derivative of y if y equals 2 2 over x y is equal to 2 over x 2 over x right y is equal to 2 over x x is a denominator you do not start deriving 
y is equal to 2 times x. This is exponent 1, so if, if it goes up, it will be minus 1. And then now, x is no longer a denominator, you can now start uh, deriving. Once you start deriving, you indicate that this is now a gradient. Negative 1 times 2, that would be negative 2 x. You subtract 1 up there again, which means it would be minus 1 minus 1. That would be minus 2. That's the gradient. And then if you are to write it with positive exponent, this will be negative 2 times 1 over x squared. Negative 2 times 1, it's minus 2 over x squared. Right? Remember, yesterday we were doing what we call the first principle, where we've seen that if the numerator is positive, the gradient, its numerator will be negative. If it's negative, the numerator will be positive for the gradient. Write the next. Y equals to x plus x squared. This is the final derivative of y. So x plus x squared. Plus x squared. It's y equals root x plus x squared. Okay. There is a root sign there. Therefore, you need to first change the root sign and write it in exponential form, which is exponent 1 over 2. Plus x squared. Then after we start deriving, it's 1 over 2 times the coefficient here, which is 1, and then the answer will be 1 over 2 x. We subtract 1 up there, this will be minus 1 over 2 plus 2 times 1, that is 2. We subtract 1. Therefore, it's just 2x. That would be the answer. But then if you were being asked to leave your answer with positive exponent, that this would be 1 over 2 times 1 over. It's 1 over. So that we are going to write this as positive. It's 1 over 2 plus 2x. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times that is 2, remember that this is root, so it's root x, that's the answer. The next plus that uh, 2x. The next one is y equals to x plus 1 into x minus 1. x plus? One into yeah into x minus one. X minus one. Right, in a situation like this, again you can't uh, differentiate here since there are some brackets. You will have to first solve the brackets. So it's y equals x squared x times minus one it's minus x 1 times x is plus x 1 times minus 1 it's minus 1 so we get the left terms the left with x squared minus 1 then there is no root sign x is not a denominator you can now start to write it This will be 2 times 1 is 2. x is subtract 1 there. So it will be 2x. Remember that you derive with respect of x. You forget about negative 1. That will be the answer.
next y equals to x times y equals x to x to x to x times to the root of eight x to the exponent eight x to the exponent six exponent six right in a situation like that there is a root sign also there are some brackets this is y equals 2x times let's change the root sign and also let's change h so this will be 2 exponent 3 which is 8 x exponent 6 Remember that that cube root sign covers 8 and also x exponent 6. So you put the brackets like that and put exponent 1 over 3 which represent that cube root. According to the laws of exponents, in a situation like this, we multiply the exponents. We do not add, we multiply the exponents. So we've got 2 exponent 3 times 1 over 3 times x exponent 6 times 1 over 3. So y will be equal to 2x two 3 divides 3 then times 2 6 divided by 3 that is 2. Therefore, it's x exponent 2. And then we have to multiply since there is a multiplication sign there. y will be equal to 2 times 2 is 4. And then you take one base and add exponents. It's 1 plus 2. Therefore, it's x exponent 3. There is no longer any root sign or x is not a denominator. We can then start deriving. It's y equals 3 times 4, that is 12. And then you subtract 1 of there, it will be 2. That's our gradient. Let's continue. Y equals 5x squared. 5x squared minus 4x whole over x. Right. When you look here, x is an LCD. So since it is an LCD, you have to split the terms. Split the terms. It's 5x squared over x minus 4x over x because x is an LCD. Y is equal to 5x squared divided by x. This is the same as when you have x times x divided by x. This would be like that. Then we are left with 5x here and then minus x divided x we are left with 4. So now x is no longer denominator, you can start deriving. We put the sign to indicate that 1 times 5, that is 5. 1 minus 1 up there, it's 0, x exponent 0. It's one, so our answer will remain like that. Next question is determine d one over d x. So now we are to determine d y over d x. If y equals c, if y equals 3x squared, 
Kx squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 2 over x squared. 3 over x squared. Right, that's the given equation. So to derive that again, we can't start deriving since x is a denominator. So we need to write this as y equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 2 times. And then we change this. Since you are going to say 2 times that, so the exponent must change to be negative. It's x exponent minus 2, like that. And then we do not have any root sign. And again, x is not a denominator, you can now start writing. Remember that uh, the question is asking us to determine dy over dx. It's dy over dx. So you no longer put that sign. You put dy over dx. It's the dy over dx. We are putting this simply because we are now starting to differentiate. 3 times 2, that will be 6. x, you subtract 1 up there, so it will be 6x. Plus 1 times 6, that is 6. From there, we put x exponent 1 minus 1, that is x exponent 0. That's the reason why we are going to make 6 there. Negative 2 times 2, that will be negative 4. We subtract 1 again here. It's x exponent minus 3. That's the answer. Unless if you are being asked to leave answers with positive exponents. So you can continue here by saying dy over dx equals 6x minus 4 over x exponent 3 plus 6. So you can write it like that if you are being asked to leave answers with positive exponent. It's 4 over that with 3 as positive. The next. Determine dy over dx if y equals x squared minus 3 over x. y equals 